how can we check to see if a window already exists in memory? Now, this is a very cool thing to know for the simple fact that there will be times when you're going to need to check to see if a particular window exists in memory before doing some sort of operation. For example, let's say that you're about to create a window and there's the possibility that that window already exists in memory. It'd be nice to be able to check to see if it does indeed exist in memory and then delete it and then go about creating the window again. But you need to know how you can go about finding out if the window exists in memory. Another cool thing to note, what I'm about to show you can be used for all other UI controls as well. So we can always query to check to see if a particular control exists. So how do we do this? Well, easy. I've already run the help command on window so we can see all the flags available for window. And if we scroll down, one of the flags that we're going to find is, I'm sure I just zipped right by it. Yep, I did. There it is, exists. Okay, and the short name is dash EX. So we can use this to our benefit here. Let me demonstrate. First of all, before even demonstrating, how about we go ahead and create a window? So I'm going to highlight that line and hit control enter. Now the window has indeed been created. We can see that with a result of my window, but we cannot see the window because we did not use the dash visible flag here and we have not yet called a show window command. So what if I was to try to create this window again? So with this line still highlighted, I'm going to hit control enter again to execute that one line and look what happens. We get an error. The object's name is not unique, my window meaning that there is already an object in memory named my window so we can't create this new window so how can we check to see if that window exists well, it's pretty easy all we need to do is use a simple if statement so i'm going to say if and i'm going to need to run the window command and i'm going to need to run that ex or exists flag so i'm going to give the exists flag to the window command and i need to specify the windows name or the object name that i'm looking for in this case my window now, there's something special that I have to do. I need to execute this line and have a value returned. See, dash EX is basically going to cause a true or false to get returned. And the if statement can then act on that true or false. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put accent marks around this line. And that's going to cause it to be properly executed and a true or false value returned. The accent marks are on the left-hand side of your keyboard right above the tab key. And I find that important to say because I've seen so many students try to use the single quote key over near your enter key. And that's just not right. So basically here we're saying if this window exists, we're going to do something. Well, I'm going to show you in this video is just to prove that it does indeed exist in memory. I'm just going to do an error. So we're going to say error window already exists blah 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 just so you know it's me there you go and we'll terminate the line now we know the window currently exists in memory we've already run the command once got a result ran the command again got an error because the window is in memory so let's go ahead and highlight these two lines because that's all i'm interested in executing and let's hit control enter if everything works properly, we should get an error stating that the window already exists. So here we go. Control, enter. And look at that. Error. Window already exists. And you can see here, already exists. So that worked. Well, let's go ahead and show this window and then delete it. So control, enter. There's the window. So, yep, it did indeed exist. Now, by hitting the X right here, this will indeed kill this window object out of memory. So we'll go ahead and close it. Now, if I run this line again, we're not going to get the error because that window does not exist. So control enter and we did not get the error. Now, of course, we've got everything echoed out to history right here, but we did not get the error actually echoed out, which we saw right here on this line. And remember down here, it turned red and gave us the window already exists error. So in this particular case, we did indeed verify that the window does not exist. So if I run this command again, it will create it without any complaints. Control enter. Look at that. No trouble whatsoever. And I can go ahead and show it. Control enter. There's the window. Okay. So that is how you can go about checking to see if a window or a control, such as a button, etc., already exists in memory. Now we're going to couple this with another how do I video, which is going to show you how you can go about deleting a window if it already exists or deleting a UI element in general. We'll put all this together and hopefully you guys will find it very useful. So with that, that is going to wrap up this How Do I video.